check it. Look. Mr. Inquan. Mr. Inquan. The queen of the dawn. He's from Jamaica. She's Italian. They come together. They come together. For love and good time. Subscribe to the soul. Cause it's Rissa and Kwan. Rissa and Kwan. The queen of the dawn. He's from Jamaica. She's Italian. They come together. For love and good time. Subscribe to the soul. Watch your king of the dawn. And it's your boy Kwan, Together Unstoppable. And Unbreakable. What's up you guys? So we have a very interesting video set for today. As you guys can see, we got Mama P in the building. Let's give it up. Hey guys. My favorite mother-in-law. Your only mother-in-law. You know what I mean. <laughs> so you guys, we were just chilling at my mom's house and we decided to just bring you guys a fun little video today. So today we're gonna be doing a Q&A and this is our first ever Q&A with my mom. She's been on the channel a lot, but we never did a Q&A with her which is kind of like crazy. So I put on my story for you guys to send me questions that I will be asking both Kwan oh and my mom. Some of them are just directed towards you and then okay. some of them are just for Kwan or some of them you guys will both have to answer. Okay, that's cool. So you guys seem to really like this video idea because it's pretty relatable. Like a lot of you guys may be in relationships or you may be younger and like you might just be introducing your boyfriend to your mom. So you may want to hear things from your boyfriend's perspective. Well, a boyfriend's perspective because Kwan's my boyfriend. <laughs> or like a parent's perspective. So you guys will get a little inside scoop and yeah, maybe your parents will relate to this. It should be a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure they're wondering what our relationship is like. Yeah. So I have all the questions in my notes. So we're gonna hop right into this. I hope you guys are excited. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you are new. Turn on your post notifications. What else, babe? Make sure you follow both on Instagram and most importantly, make sure you're on riskofarmerch.com and go copy some merch. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. What was your first impression of Kwan? So your first thoughts. Oh, and I'm going to be asking you the same question too, so. Okay. What were your first thoughts of Kwan? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're keeping it out of here. If you guys were fans of Rissa and Kwan's way back, you already know that they started off dancing and doing like videos that I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? Like, I didn't get it. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah. I blamed him for every single thing every that I didn't thing. like. Oh my God. I would call him and I was like, so Shaquan, what's going on? Like, why are you having my daughter do this? You know, my daughter is respectable and comes from a great home. So, you know, I don't like that. Yeah. So my first impression of Kwan was like, he was leading my daughter into a direction that I wasn't happy with. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. So yeah. That was my very first impression of him. To yeah. beat off of my saying, I'm not gonna lie. I thought your mom was crazy at first. <laughs> I was a little scared. Because like, as you said, we used to dance on Instagram and stuff like that, but we thought nothing of it, especially coming from like my household because yeah. like I come from a Caribbean household. So I thought nothing of it. We were just having fun. But no. from a mom's perspective, I know like, yeah. it if, looked kind of crazy. And guys, I spoke about this with his parents too. Like yeah. I spoke to his mom and dad about it and they were like, no, I understand it's different when you have the daughter yeah. and it's your daughter being put in all these positions <laughs> back over and all these crazy things going on. And I'm like, whoa, what? Yeah. this is my baby. Like Shaquan, you need Listen, to stop. All I was trying to explain to her because her mom would call me a lot. I was trying to explain like, it's not just me. It takes two to dance. Yeah, but I blamed him because my daughter is <laughs> my daughter. Yeah. And um, she does no wrong in my eyes. Ever. <laughs> so I had to. But mom, well, you know, you know, know how you do it. You're down at parties. But I'm saying, no, my mom knew I love to dance. No, no. It was, but I just never posted it. So like, right. for that, and we were going viral like crazy, like mm. all over yeah. like, social media, all yeah. over the big, you know, dance yeah. hall pages. I mean, people were reaching out to me like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so Paula, did you see Rissa? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And then mind you, at the time, I'm like on my way to be a surgeon. So my mom's like, you yes. gotta kind of know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, I'm like, this is always gonna be there. And here you are gonna be fixing people's bodies and stuff and helping <laughs> them in their lives looking gorgeous. And then they're gonna pull that so, like, out. first. <laughs> I met you, I was like, oh, Brissa mom is like spunky, like, seems cool. Like, I am very cool, guys. Hair, cool. <laughs> colorful hair and stuff, yeah. man, nice, happy all the time. I'm then, very happy. Yeah, then she started calling me. And, <laughs> I thought you were crazy. I doing that with my daughter, so I was like, oh. I thought I was nice about I mean, it, though, guys. I didn't handle it nicely, I mean, though. Trouble. She handled it pretty well. I handled my it mom nicely. Get crazy, okay? Like, I can bug out, you guys. I can lose yeah. my cool, like, instantly. But I, I was 
Yeah. At that point, you still like already respected him, so like yeah. you're just trying to check. Him. I liked him. I liked him instantly. Don't get me wrong, but that was like my first impression because that's how we met. Yeah. Like through that. So. But we're like way past that. Yeah, we're way past. That. All right. I love Shaquan. What did you think when I first came to you and told you that Kwan and I weren't going to be getting our master's degrees anymore, and instead we're going to be pursuing YouTube? Okay. So, so what did I think? Yeah. Like what, um, what was going through your mind at that time? A lot of stuff was going through my mind because I didn't understand YouTube. Yeah. Like I didn't get it. I wasn't thinking in that direction. Like we were going to college and becoming a surgeon yeah. and that was our <laughs> goal, you know? So that's yeah. the direction we were going in. So yeah. it took me a little bit of time to adjust to it. Mm -hmm. And like I even was telling Chapon too, like you guys need to make sure you finish your, your degrees and get them because you just never know. So mm -hmm. it's just did. something, right. And they did complete them both and I'm super proud of both of you for that. You guys are awesome. <laughs> They're the best kids ever. And it was important to me that they at least did that. Yeah. But you know, now that I understand this social media a little bit more and YouTube more, mm -hmm. I feel more. She's our biggest fan. Yeah, yeah I am our biggest, biggest fan, fans. guys. Yeah. I really am. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's Got to be a little nerve wracking as a parent when mm -hmm. your kid is like, "I'm not going to get my master's degree anymore. I'm doing YouTube." Yeah. Like what? And, and especially, especially when you don't, you don't get understand it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, when you don't understand it, and I didn't understand it, yeah. so it took me a little bit of time. And I, they helped me understand it in a really great way. They were never like upset with me or short tempered because mm -hmm. I would sometimes be like, mm -hmm. you know, she's like, "We do both." Yeah, it wasn't at the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially so, when we started, like, was not what it is today. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you guys are amazing. Now, so. <laughs> Thank you. You're awesome. Okay, this is for the both of you guys. What do you both think is my best quality? Your best quality. Mm, you have a lot of good qualities. I feel like your best quality you get from your mom. What's that? And that's just Mr. being Carmen. such a responsible woman. Like I feel like she groomed you to be like such a loving and responsible woman. Aww, and see. it helped me all. Oh, my, my favorite son in law. My favorite son in law. Like is the reason why I am I am today because all those things that I needed fixed, she was able to um fix that with me, honestly. Because I was very irresponsible <laughs> and um I don't know how to put it, but my mindset wasn't the way it is today. Like but you were she made me up. think about the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I was thinking about like short term goals yeah. Yeah. other than long term goals. I feel like you installed that. You always so. make all of us think into the future, like, you know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, you always have to think further along so mm -hmm. you can set that as a goal. Exactly. You know, yeah. you always want to be ahead of the game. Okay, mm -hmm. your turn. What's yeah. my best quality? Her best quality. I think Rissa is perfect. So, <laughs> I think everything about Rissa is me too, me too. amazing. Like, I just I'm not adore Rissa. I love Rissa to death. Like, she's my firstborn, but I love you too. her best quality is her genuine caringness about people and the fact that she is just so put together. Like everything about her is amazing. I can't just pick one thing. I'm <laughs> struggling here to say it because like she's great in every aspect. Yeah. Like she does it all. She's amazing. Thank you. From head to toe, top to bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I love you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. How do you feel about Kwan and I living together before marriage? Oh, I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah. So it's crazy that it was like so easy for you to answer because like see the comments. Yeah, a lot of people are concerned not, about that normal for a lot of people. A lot of mm -hmm. people, I guess, with their culture and their perspective on how, or how their parents should be. be. Yeah. yeah. Basically, it's not something that they usually do. Or it's not always accepted by parents. Yeah. I, I personally feel like that's kind of an old school way of thinking mm -hmm. because you know, people need to learn to get to know each other. And mm -hmm. the old saying is like, you don't know someone till you live with them. I feel like you really need to be around somebody all the time. And it is completely different. To get to, yeah, yeah, like dating somebody and going and having fun and then going home to your own places is one thing. But when you go home together and you live together yeah. and you see each other's habits and mood swings and the goods and, and the bads, everything. that's when you're like, okay, like this is the person yeah, can you that really I live with. Exactly. Yeah. So I am not against you you know, living together. I mean, I would never say go live with every single person you yeah, meet, no. but you know, when you are really interested in that person, definitely, yeah. And I have no problem with them living together. I think it's cool. How do you feel about Kwan and Mai's success? Oh, I think it's amazing. It's like, 
nothing that you would ever think of, you know, like yeah. people, and I'm sure there's still a lot of you out there that don't quite get it either or even realize it or mm -hmm. how it's done because I still sometimes ask questions that mm -hmm. I don't even All get. The time, yeah. I just think the way the world is these days with social media and YouTube and all these different aspects of it, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like everybody should put their effort into doing something they really genuinely want because you just never know. Exactly. Just do it mm -hmm. and go full force with it. Try your hardest. Don't worry about opinions. Don't worry about people. Do That's you. That's the best advice ever. I'm telling you, do you because everybody's gonna try to down you. Don't do it. Don't listen to them. And Ma doesn't like to take a lot of credit, but a lot of our success comes oh with my the help God. of her. I don't know what like the She heck. does a lot for us. Come on, I was doing that for her, I swear. She's yeah. literally our momager because my mom is self-employed. She's had her own business for 23 years now, right? Almost. Almost, almost 23, because I'm almost 24. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, she teaches us so many things because we are self-employed practically. Mm -hmm. And just down to everything, like, I don't know what the heck we would do. There's a lot that we didn't know. Like business aspects, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. business aspect. And yeah, it's crazy. Every That's day so is a learning process. I will Literally. say that. Yeah. Even for me, like, I am self-employed for a long time, but I'm still learning stuff. And I learn from them too. Like, mm -hmm. I think they've taught me to calm down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've like just toned it down yeah. and been a little bit more like, open-minded to stuff because it's not I don't know a lot of this newer way of doing stuff so yeah. they're teaching me as much as I'm teaching them so I think that's important to know too with like yeah. parents like some parents are so stuck in like old habits and right. ways, but the world you have is evolving. Them. Yes. Yeah. And so. it's important for parents to just kind of like open your mind to new things and not think that your way is always the right way. Exactly. Right. Because I'm not always right. Although Sounds most of the time them. I try to say I'm, I mean, I'm usually right guys, but <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying there are those times where they enlighten me too. And yeah. it's like, okay, cool. We can meet in the middle and yeah. it's the right thing to do. That's yeah. really important. Everybody's opinion counts. Don't ever shoot anybody's opinion down. Like it doesn't matter. That's really important. Bingo. My mom's yeah. hitting all no, the great right spots oh, today. Yeah. yeah. You're totally it's true. Almost, a, almost as good as me when it comes oh, to Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yes, I love all your guys' answers yeah. so far. Okay, cool. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't start sweating. What's your favorite thing about my mom? Favorite thing about your mom? Oh, oh this is easy. Oh, oh uh, yeah, energy. Chicken. Oh, energy. <laughs> I love your energy because like you could be in a bad mood or not be in the best mood. Not necessarily a bad mood, but just like you know, mutual, normal. And then you come around my mom, and my mom is just like the big happy soul. Like, <laughs> no matter what, I swear it could be muggy outside, raining. Her Six a.m. Happy. Oh, I am a morning person, guys. Yeah, we know. Six a.m., five a.m. She's happy <laughs> as soon as she wakes up and opens yes. her eyes. So it's like, I mean, when you get in that energy, you it starts to rub off on you. You know, you can't help. She's an example happy. of being raised with that type of energy. Yeah, yeah. Risk that energy plays a big role. Yeah. Like. Kwan always says that though, like I'm I'm always smiling. You guys know that. You guys comment that I'm always smiling and stuff. I get that from my mom 100%. <laughs> yeah. So it's the energy. Yeah. It's the energy. Oh, Your energy good. is very beautiful, mom. It's very good. You energy. probably can't tell if it's yourself, but being around you just, I always tell my mom this, like just being around her makes me feel better. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, that's yes. Um, okay, mom, do you see a difference in Kwan from when we first got together versus now? Yes. I don't even have to think about that. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which ways? Okay, when I first met Shaquan, he was lost maybe? <laughs> Like he had direction, you know what I'm saying? Like he was in school, he was doing his college stuff, but he needed like a little guidance and yeah. he needed like, That's true. just to be kind of kept calm. You know, he was kind of like all over the place, yeah. but that also has to do with the fact that he just wasn't sure quite, you know, what direction to go in. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I've seen a lot of changes in him. And growth, just natural growth of a man, you know? It's been four yeah. years, he was super young when we met. Yeah. So just natural growth and he's a great guy. I love Shaquan. He's awesome. I, I wouldn't want Rissa with anybody else. <laughs> he fits right into our family. His family fits in. We all love each other. And yeah, it just bad. couldn't be any better. I'm, it's like amazing. It's yeah. really a blessing. Sometimes because. I feel like I'm living like a fairy to a literary yeah. Like yeah. It's amazing when that. things are meant to be, how it just locks and yeah. feels so yeah, comfortable. It's a very comforting. Like one whole big family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, it's love a blessing. It. So yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> You've definitely grown a lot, babe. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. What was I like as a kid? Oh. Rissa was awesome. Rissa was amazing. <laughs> she never cried, you guys, like as a baby. She was always happy and smiling. Like, we're gonna have to start posting some throwbacks of her little pictures. Oh, my every God. single yeah, picture. They definitely gonna show those. She's oh sitting God. there like this. <laughs> and every She's not picture, lying. like yeah. every picture, she was happy, smiling, mm -hmm. and 100% awesome in school. She joined every club you could imagine, played every sport. Yeah. 
didn't get in trouble. I was an overachiever, you guys. Yeah. Her so. grades were so important. Like, she'd be sitting at the dining room table here until 1 a.m. if she had to, studying, like, whatever she had to do. <laughs> Helping her siblings. She was an amazing big sister because, you know, we, I have all these other kids. So, Rissa was an awesome big sister. Great role model. I never had to, like, stop my life because Rissa was so amazing and responsible. I could still, like, go away for the weekend. Like, some parents have to really compromise in that area because of the younger kids. But yeah. I was very lucky and blessed that Rissa was I always felt very mature. I don't yeah. know why. I think it is because I'm the oldest sibling, so I kind of had to like make sure yeah. that you know I'm a I I never had to worry about anything. Yeah. That was Thank awesome. You, yeah. <laughs> does anything that my mom does annoy you? <laughs> oh, she died. She tried to start drama. <laughs> what? Don't no swim drama, please. Don't no swim drama. What? Uh, How? I'm, I'm trying to say drama. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, oh, I thought you meant I was. I'm like, what? <laughs> I I feel like I'm gonna be honest with you, mom. Okay. I feel like you be stealing Rissa's attention from me. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Like sometimes what? I feel like you be going at it over attention without you even knowing. She was mine first. Like we could be laying up. <laughs> I said, listen, listen, listen. She we was, be, she's my daughter. I know. But I'm saying like sometimes I want attention, so like we could be laid up watching a movie and stuff, and her mom will call her, FaceTime her, and just be talking, and I'm like, damn, like. I say hi to I your mom too. too. Still wrist away from me, like it's just yeah. over with. Or like sometimes after our work day, like call be like, let's go out to eat or something. But then I'm all coming like, you wanna go to eat Max? And I'm like, sorry, man, I'm going to eat Max. That's mom. how I get done. So it's like, you know. We start all the time. I don't really get annoyed and annoyed like guys. that. Can you come with yeah, us? Yeah, you do. I know, but it's just like, you know, I want, my, I want but, my girlfriend. I want to spend some quality time with my girlfriend. Well, girl. I want quality time with you. They live together. And, yeah. and we always go at it <laughs> secretly. You don't know, but I'll be like. It's okay. It don't annoy me that much. No, I okay. understand. So. I know what he's saying. I mean, we work together. We, oh, we look like together. we're together all day. Like, yeah. I can call. Well, like, I know, so but we work so is. much together, it's like, damn. Yeah. Like, well, I'm working all day, too. I know. So my only time to call is, you know? Mm -hmm. but, I call and text. I mean, we call and text all day long. Yeah, yes. every single day. You got plenty of time, and I need time, too. Okay. <laughs> so I need time. If that annoys you, it's going to keep annoying you, because I'm not Damn thing. <laughs> okay, next question. Mom, do you see us being together forever? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Of course. I don't see that changing, guys. Mm. Yeah. There's some things that are just meant to be, and you can feel it and genuinely know it, and I absolutely feel that way. Yeah. Soulmates. Yeah. We are soulmates. They're gonna give me like 10 grandbabies. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes. This is the last question, which is crazy you just said that. Team Russ and Kwan wants to know, how many grandchildren would you want from us? Ten? Like, realistically or like being dramatic? Say realistically and then dramatic. Realistically. Okay, realistically, I think four is great. Okay. Yeah. Four, four is, is a good number. That's yeah, fair. Four is yeah. a great number. Kwan and I were having a conversation last night and I was like, you know, maybe I want like six kids. I think four is the perfect number. Six four. is a lot, guys. <laughs> a lot. I, I say four because it's like, you know, you gotta think on a whole. You see what we were talking about before, you gotta think in the future. So you gotta think ahead. Right? It's a family of six. Mm -hmm. And then if you go for six kids, that's a family of eight. And everything becomes more difficult. Like traveling. And they love to travel. Yeah. So you can't be traveling with eight people. Yep. That's hard <laughs> when they're all kids. Like you guys are the only adults. And that's like most of the time we all travel together unless, you know, they have something they want to do on their own, of course, with their friends or whatever. But then you're including us and Kianja and Majesty. It's yeah. like it becomes like we're on a field trip of 30. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We great. roll as a team, to yeah. be honest with you. Like we go away a lot together and stuff. So So realistically four? I think four. I'm happy you said four. Yeah. I'm okay. really happy you said I think four. four. That's what Quan thinks. Three That's girls, exactly one boy. Thinking. Three girls. <laughs> <laughs> I just speak what you said. Three girls. I don't know. Okay, that. so you guys, I'm going to ask Three you boys, one girl. Because I have to do one girl. Okay. I, Shaquan and I always go at each other for this because one day when they decide to have a family, I personally feel like I would want to have a granddaughter first. Like, Rissa was my first child, and I think it's awesome to have a little girl first. Mm -hmm because she was so hopeful with everything. And girls tend to be different babies than boys. Like, I don't know, the boys are more active, they're all over the place, they're hyper. I'm fine with that. Girls are more calm and they just want to be dressed up and they're cutesy and it so like, it's like, 
it's yeah. a very easy transition. And then the little girl is there to help with the little boy who is usually a maniac. <laughs> so it's it's yeah. helpful. It really is. If you have a boy first and then there's a little sister, they're like throwing trucks at them and they're hitting them with toys. <laughs> it's, it becomes like, wow, you want to stop right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Quan wants a boy for his I mom. want three boys and one girl. That, that is not going to happen, you guys. I highly doubt that we God is going to bless we that. We shall see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Well, my mom ended off the video with her own question. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. I hope you guys got some of the answers that you guys have been wanting to know. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun. I like that. We got to do this again. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in our next live video. Love you guys. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Peace.